Imagine that you're working on a distributed solver. Your idea is fairly straightforward. Some kind of optimization problem gets fed into your system, and you've got a ton of tiny containers, each holding a slice of the graph, that is, a chunk of nodes and edges. Each container computes local minimum edges and then hands those candidates back into the cluster so the system can decide which ones to keep as the tree grows. It's theoretically sound, and it works on paper, but in practice, it takes forever. Why? Well, let's say the problem is some kind of traveling salesman. Your system is going to approximate a solution with something like an MST heuristic, a minimum spanning tree. You spin up the machines and run the algorithm across your cluster. And now you're sitting and waiting through round after round of communication because no single VM can hold enough data to make real progress. Every partial result has to be passed around, merged and checked for consistency before the next step can begin. That constant back and forth introduces latency, and the synchronization barriers mean the slowest node drags down the whole process. In other words, you're paying a huge time penalty, not for the math itself, but for the cost of stitching all the pieces back together across the network. So what can you do about it? Well, what if I told you that adding just one machine with more memory to your cluster could completely transform the performance. Not a thousand machines, not even 10, just one. That's exactly the idea that the authors of this paper are exploring. But before we get into their findings, we'll need to talk about what massively parallel computation actually is and why it matters. Then we'll return to what the authors did and the results they obtained. We're going to talk about superlinear, nearlinear, and sublinear regimes. We're going to talk about sparse graphs and cycles. We're going to talk about maximal matching algorithms and spanner algorithms. All that and more on today's episode of Journal Club. If you're already subscribed to our email newsletter, then you'll be getting this episode in text, audio, and video form delivered to your inbox in the next few hours. Journal Club, the latest academic research explained in plain English.